Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about students t distribution. What is mean by student t distribution when we have to apply? What is the test statistic of a student t distribution? And then applications of a students t distribution. I am going to explain. Now students t distribution. When population standard deviation is not known, population SD standard deviation is not known and the samples sample uh, is of small size and the sample is of small size that is n less than or equal to 30. If n less than or equal to 30 then it is called small sample. Now, n greater than 30, it is called a large sample, already we know that one. Now, when the population SD standard deviation is not known and the sample is of small size, that is n less than or equal to 30, we use T distribution. Then only standard population SD standard deviation is not known and the sample size is less than or equal to 30, then we use students T distribution. Now, what is the test static? We will see. Consider the small sample of size n. Consider the small sample of size n drawn from the normal population with mean mu and SD sigma. With mean mu and SD sigma. And if x bar and s be the sample mean and SD, x bar is the sample mean, SD is s, then the test statistic t is defined as the test statistic of a t distribution is uh, uh, defined as t is equal to x bar minus mu by s by under root of n s by under root of n this is the test statistic where s square is equal to 1 by n minus 1 into sigma sigma x i minus x bar whole square t is equal to x bar minus mu by s minus root n where s square is equal to 1 by n minus 1 into sigma x i minus x bar whole square. Now another one if s square is equal to if s square is equal to 1 by n into sigma x i minus x bar whole square be the samples mean for example s square is equal to not like if s square is in this form then t is equal to t will become x bar minus mu by s by under root of s by root of n minus 1 this is the this is the test statistics of t distribution if s square is equal to like this if s square is in this form this is the test statistic if s square is equal to in this form this is the test statistic the test statistic t follows t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom t distribution uh, t follows a t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom what is degrees of uh, freedom everything i explained in uh, previous classes now applications of uh, t distribution applications of uh, t distribution the first one is uh, The first one is test for specified mean. Applications of test distribution. First one is test for specified mean. Now I will see. We will see the for, uh, concept and then we will do the problem for specified mean. Specified mean concept. A random sample size of n. A random sample size of n has been drawn from a normal population with a specified mean mu naught. To test if there is a significant difference between sample mean and population mean. Now this is the concept. A random sample of uh, the sample of uh, size n has been drawn from a normal population with a specified mean mu naught. To test whether there is a significant difference between sample mean and population mean, we have to check this one. Null hypo. How to do this one? Null hypothesis set. Uh, let uh, we will set up uh, null hypothesis h naught is equal to how to take the null hypothesis h uh, h naught mu is equal to mu naught h1 alternative hypothesis h1 is equal to mu is not equal to mu naught the test statistic the test statistic is t is equal to x bar minus mu naught x bar minus mu naught 
by s by under root of n under root of n test statistic t is equal to x bar minus mu naught by s by under root of n t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom now how to uh, find whether it is uh, accept h naught and reject h naught if calculated value whatever the calculated value is less than table value of t at n minus 1 degrees of freedom df means degrees of freedom uh, with a uh, with certain uh, uh, level of significance los with a certain level of certain level of uh, significance los means level of significance 5% of level of significance or 1% of level of significance if they did not give anything you have to take default 5% of los level of significance if calculated is less than table value at n minus 1 degrees of freedom at certain level of significance then accept h not if it is calculated is less than table accept h not otherwise reject h not otherwise reject h not this is the formula this is the formula of the test of, uh, test for the specified mean we will take the we will see the first problem the first problem is like this first problem is number 1 problem problems 10 cottons are taken at random from an automatic filling machine 10 cottons are taken at random from an automatic filling machine the mean net weight of cotton is 11.8 and the standard deviation is 0.15 does the sample differ significantly from the intended weight of 12 this is the question does the sample differ significantly from the intended weight of 12 now to do this problem given that what is given contents given that sample size is n number of cottons are n is equal to 10 10 cottons randomly 10 cottons are taken randomly at an automatic filling machine n sample size n is equal to 10 x bar mean is equal to 11.8 mean of a sample 11.8 s sd of a sample is 0 0.15 this is also given these two are given x bar mean 11.8 sd s is equal to sd of sample is equal to 0, point, 0 0.15 this is also given now population mean does the sample differ significantly from the intended weight of 12 mu naught population mean is equal to 12 mean or mu naught mu naught is mu naught mu naught is equal to population mean is equal to 12 12 whether it is 12 or not you have to check now we will set null hypothesis null hypothesis h naught is equal to mu is equal to 12 mu is equal to 12 h1 alternative hypothesis mu is not equal to 12 we use t distribution to test the statistic because um, uh, we know sd as well as sample size is less than or equal to 30 that's why we are using sample size is less than 30 and uh, uh, sd uh, sd sample uh, we know the uh, no, sample sd that is why we are using uh, we use t distribution the test statistic is t is equal to x bar minus mu by s by under root of uh, n minus 1 under root of n minus 1 x bar is equal to 11.8 minus 11.8 minus mu is equal to 12 by s is equal to 0 0.15 by uh, under root of uh, under root of uh, 10 minus 1 10 minus 1 is 9 under root of 10 minus 1 is 9 that is equal to if you simplify using the calculator minus 4.0 the table value of, of t distribution if you see the tables t distribution t distribution table the table value of t for n minus 1 n minus 1 degrees of freedom n minus 1 means 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 degrees of freedom at 5% of LOS, 5% of level of significance is 2.26. The calculated value is that mod t is equal to minus 4.0 is equal to 4 is greater than table value. That means 4 is greater than 
2.26 stable value we have got 2.26 calculated value mod t is equal to 4 4 is greater than 2.26 if it is greater than then that is uh, reject h naught 4 is greater than 2.26 reject reject h naught rejecting h naught means that is the sample mean differs significantly from the population mean Thank you.